Welcome to 2K15 Squawk. With a whole new cast. A whole new attitude. I'm Raven. I'm Ben. I'm Nora. And I'm Brandon. Yo, where's Gary? Oh, Gary sat down with Mr. Ruth to interview him. Let's go to them now. All right, hey guys, uh, we're here with Mr. Ruth, the principal, and uh, we got some questions we want to ask him. And uh, so, this is your first year at Clover High School. Yes. And uh, what do you plan on doing with the school? And uh, what are your expectations of the school? Some of the goals and things that I have kind of in play are um, first and foremost student achievement and you'll see that all over the place, instructional time being our number one goal and that's kind of what we're hired to do as people that work in a school is uh, to make sure that instruction is as solid as possible. But overarching, looking over the whole thing, we want to be the best at absolutely everything that we do. So whether we're in the classroom or on the athletic field or in a club or whatever we're about, we want to be the very best we can be at it. How do you plan to achieve those goals? Students can do so much at this level. I've spent so much time meeting with student groups and so the way we're going to accomplish our goal through students, through people, and, and that's really how it's genuine, organic, that's how it really comes to fruition, if you will, is that if students take the initiative and students begin to develop that motivation inside of them, to say, hey, I want my school to be the best it can be. I want our school to be known for these great things. I think that if we try to force it, sometimes as adults it becomes difficult, but when we see the, the students become the leaders and step up and kind of take that role, I think it becomes more natural and we get more out of it that way. One of like the big policies here is uh, the dress code. Yes. And uh, like us as the students, we want to know like why you want to force it the way you do. There's so many dynamics that go into a school year and um, again, we'll be a, a 5A school next year, so we're a good sized school. And of all the things that we discussed, the dress code is probably the thing that's come up the most, which is pretty interesting to me. Here's what we did this summer. The dress code, we took the dress code from the handbook and we put it in bullet, bulleted fashion. And that's pretty much all that we did. Um, there's been some question about the enforcement of it. The enforcement to this point has been me going on the PA system and just if there are any concerns about the dress code to send them to the main office and to see if we can be of any assistance to be a resource if there are any questions about the dress code. And really Gary we haven't done anything other than that. So most of our students here and uh, I know some of the staff that uh, we don't really like know you too well. Do sure. you have any like, background information you can give us? I'm from Florence, South Carolina uh, which isn't too far from here so I grew up in South Carolina. Went to South Florence High School which is a school um, that at this point is pretty similar to Clover High School as far as size and things like that, the things that they offer. And um, was very involved in, in activities there, played football, um, played a little bit of basketball, was involved in ROTC band. I tried to get across as many different organizations as I could to have a good base while I was in high school and enjoy as, as many things as I could. Um, and then went off to Francis Marion University and majored in political science and really wanted to be an attorney whenever I got out of uh, college and then maybe a political career after that, who knows, I didn't know, but I went to a job fair and there was a, um, a, a school recruiter there, someone that recruits people to become teachers for their particular district and I was just very intrigued by it. So I listened to that a little bit and uh, kind of changed paths a little bit and, and applied at Lake City High School and was hired there and coached tennis and coached basketball and football and wrestling and loved my time at the high school setting and taught there for seven years and then decided to go into administration and got a job at the middle school that I attended. So Southside Middle School in Florence, South Carolina, where I went to school, I went back as an assistant principal at that same school. And I spent three years there before uh, getting named to be the principal of Moore Intermediate School, which is a fifth and sixth grade school. And uh, spent some time there and my wife, uh, who is from this area, we decided to move up here and a position up into Oak Ridge Middle School and I'd already heard a lot of great things about Clover. So we came up and, uh, and I took the position at Oak Ridge and was there for a couple of years and then had an opportunity to become the principal at York Middle School and was really kind of looking in that direction to become a principal again. So that door opened up and went there for a year um, and then was just extremely fortunate that, uh, that the position opened up here for me to be able to come back to Clover. Uh, I, I live in Clover, my wife works in Clover schools, I have a son who goes to Lauren Elementary School, I have a little girl, she's two, she'll be going to Clover schools, um, and so getting back to the community was, was pretty important, but that's just kind of a little bit about me. 
So we heard uh, you're a big Star Wars fan. I am, yes. The uh, Force is with me, yes. So which one's your favorite movie? Um, I think probably The Empire Strikes Back. I think that's when Luke becomes, mm -hmm. kind of comes into his own a little bit with that movie. Um, and I, I like the classics. The new ones are, are the, the prequels, if you will. Wasn't so wild about those. So kind of the classics, uh, I, I, I'm, I lean toward those a little bit more. So I heard you talk to Mr. Root. Yeah, he's a real nice guy. Seems pretty cool. Now we're going with Ben with Clover Crazies. I sat down with a few memories of the Clover Crazies. Let's jump right to that. Here with Josh Harris, the leader of the Clover Crazies. Josh, why'd you start the Clover Crazies? I started the Clover Crazies this year because I was just so enthusiastic about school spirit, and that's really all I do in high school. So I just wanted to do something to really get everybody involved. Something cool, something fun to do. You got any big plans for the upcoming games? Anything like that? Big plans. Well, I can't really get rid of anything right now. I have to keep that on the video. Uh, we're here today with J.D. Jacobus. He's a member of the Clover Crazies. Uh, why'd you join in the first place? I joined because I love Clover High School and it's the best high school in the state. And there's no better way to show spirit than being with the Clover Crazies. Really? Are you getting crazy with the Clover Crazies? Yeah, dude, it was lit. This is going to be a good school year this year with the Clover Crazies. Dude. It better be. Alright, now let's throw it in the door with the foreign exchange students. Each year, students come from other countries to be foreign exchange students in the United States. I sat down with a couple of our foreign exchange students to ask them some questions. Actually, really good. Yes, I enjoyed here. I took the step to live abroad one year in America because it was always my biggest dream to live in America. I lived in Tokyo before and Tokyo is a very busy place and there has no nature but here there has many nature and life is slow so I like this place. Yeah. Wouldn't it be nice to live in a foreign country? Yeah, seems pretty cool. Yeah, those kids are pretty chill. Now here's Brandon with Athlete of the Week. The first football game might not have gone as planned for the Blue Eagles, but some positives did come from it, mainly the kicking game. Here is Coach Smith with the Athlete of the Week. Our Player of the Week for our Week Zero game against Westside is Sam Edmonds. Uh, Sam had a, uh, he was 100% for kickoffs for a touchback, and he, uh, he averaged about 36 yards on each punt. Uh, great job, great young man, uh, great student, and so uh, it's a pleasure to introduce uh, Sam Edmonds is our player of the week. It was an unexpected award for Sam, but he was proud to receive it. Um, it's a good feeling. I mean, it's, it's kind of an award and motivation at the same time. It's just, I'm happy to help out my team. The second game against Forest View gave the Blue Eagles their first win, and Sam thinks it's just getting started. We got a good looking season ahead of us. I know we did. That was a uh... Good first episode for the squawk, right? Yeah, it was. And we'll see you here next time. On the squawk! <laughs>